My name's Andrew. I grew up in Kirkwood, went to St. Lawrence University High School, and I didn't like studying. I mean, high school's hard. Didn't like doing homework, wasn't much invested in it. It just wasn't my thing. My grade point average was 1.8 at Mizzou. Yeah, I'm surprised it took me that long to get it that low. I got a letter from the dean advising me, why don't you take a break? You're just not there academically. I wasn't going to class. My father has five degrees, my mother had three, my brother has three. It's a well-educated family, and here I am, you know, schlepping around. Now, I tried a couple times, but I was still getting bombed half the time. It didn't work for me. So you get into the restaurant business because you're screwing around in college and you need some cash. I mean, let's be real. It got kind of bad when I was down in Miami. I got down there, got, it was, got back in the restaurant industry, and that in itself was just work hard, play hard, get hammered, just obliterated all the time. Then I got introduced to cocaine. When people say, well, did you do it a lot? I said, well, I dabble in it, and then they go, define dabble. Well, I use it all the time. And I lived in Miami, I was flat broke. I don't know if I ever told anyone this. I had my electricity turned off for a year. Not having electricity in the tropics is not the smartest thing. It's hot as hell in Miami. I made poor choices in a lot of different areas. I was out, and I got pulled over, and I reeked of alcohol and I had a BAC in college, and I had gone through a stoplight. That's one pled guilty offense. I got a DWI, and this was gonna be my third, which is a felony. I had to go through counseling, wear an ankle monitor for 13 months, AA meetings. I knew I was gonna get pulled over again. It wasn't a question of if, it was a question of when. If I had not stopped drinking, I would be dead right now. To help yourself, you need the 12-step program. You need to make sure that you're focused. You need to be clear-minded. I met my sponsor, his name's Alan. He's on me, he's riding me all the time. You gotta do this, you gotta do this. Then he started talking about finishing school. And he told me about the next step. And he just said, okay, this is what you need to do. I had to have the sobriety before I could even attempt to go to school. I started in 1990 and I graduated in 2022. It took me 32 years. And if it wasn't for these folks at the next step, I would be back where I was before. I've mentored people through the court system, and if these folks just don't get it, they send them to me. And there are people reevaluating their choices in life. Because of getting my degree, there are people that think that, okay, if this clown can do it, then I can do it. There's absolutely no way, financially, emotionally, physically, that I can repay to them what they've given me because it's more than any dollar amount. I have a college degree now. To me, that means something. These people care. Getting in trouble is easy. Finding the right people is hard. What has Next Step done for me? It has made me a better person. For me, it's life-changing.